Hey everyone, welcome to another Clean Machine Live. I'm Jeff Palmer, CEO and founder of Clean Machine. Uh, uh, before we get started, let me just go ahead and do the, the usual. Uh, this broadcast is for educational and informational purposes and is not intended to diagnose, treat, prevent, or cure any disease state. Okay, so we're going to be talking about type 2 diabetes and what the new consensus statement out. This uh, consensus statement uh, just came out um, this month of this year, July 2022. This is a brand new consensus statement. Consensus statement is when um, uh, experts and professionals, uh, in this case, it was a group of uh, professionals, um, including uh, nutritionists, dietitians, medical doctors, um, a whole host of different people uh, that came together for the purpose of trying to reach consensus on what uh, can actually prevent or reverse diabetes. Um, so what was pretty amazing is this uh, publication was put together by 15 experts with representatives from seven different medical professional societies. Um, and it's the first to focus on diet as the primary means of, achieve, of achieving lasting remission of diabetes without medications or procedures or drugs. And this group of professionals was internists, cardiologists, physicians, endocrinologists, nutritionists, dietitians, and lifestyle medicine specialists. This statement was supported by the American Association of Clinical Endocrinology and the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. It was also sponsored by the Endocrine Society. So this has got a lot of backing uh, behind it. This was the first of its kind to really put this kind of statement together that talked about just using nutritional or dietary um, uh, approaches as the primary approach. Nothing medical, no interventions, no drug interventions, nothing, just diet. Now, I would go further and say that diet and exercise combined together get you even better and quicker results sooner and faster, and that is worn out in a recent study too, but I'll get to that in just a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they found and what their statements were. So the key statement here is, and I'm gonna read this verbatim, the experts agreed that diet alone could achieve remission, and this was defined as having A1C, HB, hemoglobin A1C, um, less than six five points, six point five percent. So that's how they diagnosed is that being sustainable, something that the body can live with once it gets down to that degree. So this was pretty amazing. So the experts agreed that diet alone could achieve remission for at least three months without surgery, without devices, or active pharmacological therapy, aka drug therapy to reduce glucose. So this is using just diet to reduce glucose and bring insulin sensitivity back to a level where the body could process and function normally. Diet alone, no drugs, no intervention other than diet. This is pretty amazing. And this is the first consensus statement to really come out and say this and lay this out across the board, across practitioners to really agree upon these three major things. I'm going to uh, read those things. Um, some of this is going to be really technical and some of it is going to be so scientific that uh, I'll just explain it very briefly. Um, but number one, A, in addition, the consensus was reached in the three following key issues. A, remission of type 2 di diabetes should be defined as below 6.5% of uh, hemoglobin A1C. Uh, for at least three months with no surgery devices, uh, drug therapy, or specific purpose of lowering blood glucose. So that was the number one consensus. All right, can we do this with food alone? And, um, and can we get it into that 6.5% of A1C that, that we could say, hey, that's safe for human beings to be at. They're no longer at a major risk 
for full-blown diabetes. Number two, diet as a primary intervention for type 2 diabetes. Now, this is different because they've used diet as what they call adjunctive, which is in addition to drug therapies or in addition to surgery, like bariatric surgery, things like this. They've used diet in addition to this and combined with it, but not as a standalone. And this is what's different about this particular statement. Diet as a primary intervention for type 2 diabetes can achieve remission in many adults with type 2 diabetes and is related to the intensity of the intervention. Now, this is where I am going to get into the American uh, Diabetic Association's uh, latest study on showing intensity matters. So the, the more diabetic basically someone is may require a stronger intensity of the approach to diet, meaning much more strict, purely plant-based, whole food plant-based diet and exercise. And I'll talk to you about that exercise element with that other study um, in just a moment. But let me get to the third one. And the third one is diet as a primary intervention for type 2 diabetes, type 2 very specifically, which is caused by diet, not type 1, which is actually caused um, by genetics. So type 2 diabetes, which is the vast majority of diabetes in the United States, um, diet as a primary intervention for type 2 diabetes is the most effective at achieving remission when emphasized a whole food plant-based diet with minimal or no consumption of any other animal products, unquote. That's a big deal. This is them saying that it's the plant-based diet that is that is effective at, at causing the remission here. Solely the diet, without drugs, without uh, surgical intervention, or without any other practical interventions, just diet alone, and that it be a whole food plant-based diet. This is their overarching, um, that diet alone could achieve remission without surgery devices and active active uh, pharmacological therapy to reduce glucose, and they can do so simply by doing, and I'll quote, the American College of Lifestyle Medicine, a medical professional society advocating for lifestyle medicine that is changing our lifestyle, not just put on a, a Band-Aid with a drug or a, or a treatment, but actually changing the lifestyle Lifestyle Medicine published a consensus statement that remission can be achieved in type 2 diabetes adults through a plant predominant or plant exclusive, my words, but plant predominant diet as the primary intervention. There you have it. And it's about time that the doctors and physicians and practitioners have finally gotten together and come out and said what we've known through the research for over a decade now. And, and it's ridiculous that they've withheld this information, that they continue to give uh, patients drugs as the first line of action when diet is the cause. Why are doctors not treating the cause? In the doctor's oath, you've got the Hippocratic Oath that says, first, do no harm. We know that the drugs that they're using, um, that they're using, some of the drugs that they're using, can cause problems. The side effects are listed in public. They're they're on the websites of the drugs. You can look them up yourself. That's no secret. I'm not saying anything damning about pharmaceutical drugs or anything. That's public knowledge that they list on their own websites about the drugs. The, inter the interactions, the side effects, the negative effects on kidneys, all of that is listed right there on their own website for the drug itself. If your recommendation is to actually treat and heal people, why are you as a physician not telling people the truth that it's their diet that has caused the diabetes and it's their diet that can reverse their diabetes? It's about time we start telling people the truth and start actually making a change and making a difference. 
Let's stop using drugs as the first line of action and start talking about health, real health, bringing people back to health, not just treating sickness. Oh my God, it's so frustrating. I'm so glad though that this statement has come out, published, it's taken till June of 2022 before practitioners have banded together and put together a consensus statement. But there it is, that you do not need drugs, that this is effective and it can last and, and that it's a, an approach that people can maintain on their own without the use of drugs, without the use of additional surgery, without the use of additional therapies, all by itself. Boom, there it is. Well, I'm really grateful that this has come out, but I really wish they would take it one step further and show what this study, and I'm gonna put up the first study so that you can see it uh, on the screen. This is the study that I was just referring to, published in the American Journal of Lifestyle Medicine. And the title of the study is Dietary Interventions to Treat Type 2 Diabetes in Adults with a Goal of Remission not treatment, remission, removing of the diabetes itself. An expert consensus statement from the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. Bravo to you guys, men and women, for putting this together and finally coming out and stating the truth. The medical community has, has been making too much money off of just treatment and not off of intervention, not off of reversing this. But here's a study that was put together that was done by the American Diabetic Association themselves. I'll put that on the screen so that you guys can see it and why it's so important. Because if this is so effective that a diet alone, a whole food plant-based diet alone can put people into remission, reverse and control diabetes, this one took it even further. So what they found was that in one study, only 40% of participants accomplished regression with the American diabetics' own plan for dietary changes. So they felt, wait a minute, if only 40% of people are getting remission based on our own plan, what if we just change one aspect of the American Diabetes Association's plan? Now, this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> so what did they do to change the program to try to get that other 60% out of a diabetic state? I want to put the quote right up on the screen because it's that important. Okay, here we go. So people at high risk morbidly obese people, people who have a real serious problem uh, with type 2, means they're full-blown type 2 diabetics and, and serious condition. These individuals produce too little insulin or suffer from fatty liver with insulin resistance. They were assigned, randomly assigned, to receive conventional lifestyle intervention, the LI. This is the lifestyle intervention that is proposed by the American Diabetes Association, changing their diet to mostly plants, including you know, animal products still in there. So it's not as clean as the diet that I just referred to, but this one as their program. So they changed one thing about it. And what was that? to intensify it. And what was that that they intensified it with? I'm going to show you. <laughs> so once they were uh, doing that, uh, here is the rest of that quote, which was not on the screen. So the intensification was a more intensive intervention with double the amount of required exercise. So they didn't change diet at all. The American, the ADA uh, diet that they proposed, eating mostly plants, they didn't change diet at all. All they did was tell them to exercise twice as much than what was scheduled in their lifestyle intervention program. What happened when they did that? Well, they got a 70% reduction rate from 40% to 70%.
just by increasing their exercise. This is why exercise is so important, why it can actually save people's lives. Imagine combining a plant-based diet with an exercise protocol. Now you're really magnifying your body's ability to become very insulin sensitive because when you exercise, you are telling the cells, okay, we need to soak up and pull up some glucose so that we can run this engine. And when it does that, it increases insulin sensitivity. That means that insulin can dock there even easier. Exercise increases insulin sensitivity. Diabetes is the shutdown of insulin sensitivity. It, diabetes is insensitivity, where the uh, insulin comes and can't dock and can't uh, bind to the cell to pull in glucose in the cell. Why? Because that cell is full of fat. Now, when you exercise, you burn up energy. So you burn up all that fat inside of it. Now your cell becomes sensitive again. It now it says, okay, now I've burned up all that fat on the inside of the cell. Now I can pull in glucose again. And then the glucose can come in and be used as energy. Glucose or sugar actually increases sensitivity, not decreases it. It's the fat inside the cell that actually says, I've got too much calories in here. I can't take on any more glucose. And then insulin comes and can't bind, can't bind there to pull in the sugars. And the sugars start floating around in the system, start turning into AGEs and then become toxic. So yes, adding sugar to somebody who's already uh, insulin sen uh, sensitive, no, no bueno. But when you exercise and you burn up that fat, now glucose can get right into that cell, be used for energy, no problems. It's the fat that's the problem, not the sugar. The sugar just exacerbates the problem caused by the fat. And that's why a plant-based diet, even though it's high in carbohydrates, is actually lower risk of type 2 diabetes. I'm talking a whole food plant-based diet, not a uh, not one full of uh, white flour and white sugar. Uh, that's not going to get you anywhere either, or one that's really high in saturated fat. Um, so these most of the source of uh, the American diet saturated fat comes from animals um, predominantly. Um, there, Yes, there is a little saturated fat, things like peanuts or, or uh, olives or um, coconut oil, but that's not something that most people are eating every day with every meal, whereas people are eating eggs and bacon and cheese and, and so with every meal. So when you're running that kind of uh, dense amount of saturated fat, it starts to soak up into the cells, fill the cells into the point where they actually become insulin insensitive, causing type 2 diabetes. Well, there you have it. I'm so glad to see a consensus statement come out from the medical and educational community, from the practitioners themselves saying consensus, something they all agree on that a plant-based or plant-exclusive diet can reverse diabetes. I heard a wonderful lecture by Dr. McDougall today, and he said they have gotten 100% success rate of people going to a whole food plant-based diet of reversing diabetes, 100% success rate. It is a lifestyle, diet and exercise, a whole food plant-based diet coupled with exercise so that you make your muscles more efficient at utilizing the energy you take in and it won't store as fat as much and it won't clog up those cells causing insulin sensitivity. Exercise, key part of this, based on that American Diabetics Association study, as well as this new one from the Lifestyle College of Medicine. I hope you enjoyed this. My goal for you is to really inspire you to exercise, stay with the exercise, stay consistent. Your life may depend on it. Uh, type two diabetes has reached almost um, either pre-diabetic or full-blown type 2 diabetes is almost 50% of our entire population in the United States right now. This is horrific. And it's 100% treatable with diet and exercise. It's 100% reversible with diet and exercise. And we actually have a consensus statement from 15 different practitioners of seven different modalities saying, yes, this can be done. And 
you know, many of the plant-based doctors are out there saying it, McDougall, um, uh, Dean Ornish, um, uh, Dr. Greger, they're all quite aware and all saying that yes, uh, diabetes is reversible. Type 2 diabetes, let me be very clear, type 2 diabetes is very reversible and controllable. Um, check out, uh, uh, oh God, I'm blanking on the name. So uh, uh, Robbie, uh, oh, somebody help me out here with a book. Um, but there's a great Mastering Diabetes. Check out a great book by two experts in the field um, that have uh, type 1 diabetes and even having success with a fully plant-based raw whole food, mostly raw whole food, plant-based, actually high fruit diets. Wonderful book, wonderful uh, to the guys, uh, Cyrus and, and Robbie. Great guys, full of knowledge, full of expertise. Check out their website, Facebook too. Um, they have some amazing information, really good experts on uh, how a whole food plant-based diet is completely reversible with lifestyle, with exercise and a whole food plant-based diet. Thank you. Get up on the information. I want you to have the best life and live it suffering free. There's no need to suffer from this awful disease. Type 2, type two diabetes is the number one cause for amputations in the United States. Um, more limbs are lost to type 2 diabetes. Those are feet being uh, removed. Even my next door neighbor had his left foot removed because of type 2 diabetes. Um, number one cause of blindness in the United States is diabetes because the sugar backs up, because it can't get into cells because of the insulin resistance and that degraded sugar, those forms AGEs, which damages the retinas and then causes blindness. You don't need to have your limbs amputated. You don't need to go blind just because you're not going to change your diet and exercise. People, I want you to have a good life and a plant-based diet and exercise is where it's at. This can help you live long and healthy and not suffer, not lose your limbs, not lose your eyesight. It's so easy and it promotes your health while you're doing good for the planet and not killing 60 billion animals, uh, land animals and 2.7 trillion sea animals every single year. This is good for you, good for, for everyone and everything on this planet. That's why I'm so passionate about this, why I love seeing finally the medical community turn around and uh, make a difference in um, telling the truth giving the consumers some empowering information that you have control of this type 2 diabetes is not just something that happens to people it's not just an unfortunate thing it's not uh, it's not the divine uh, way it's not fate you control whether you have it or not and how you change that by your exercise and your dietary choices i want to give you that information so that you can make the best choices for yourself and live an enjoyable life, free of suffering. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share so that more people can find out about this information that even the medical community is coming out now and saying point blank diet alone, but even better coupled with exercise can uh, reverse diabetes. I hope you enjoyed this. Please share it so that we can save other people's lives. Get this. Let's get this information out there. It's empowering to everybody who listens to it, knowing that you have uh, the decision, you have the power to control your health. Thanks for listening. As always, I'll be back again next week, next Thursday, with more great information, some great new studies on the keto diet. So I'm sure many of you are, are going to want to tune into this one, the keto diet and how it affects your heart long term. It's pretty frightening. So you probably want to tune in for this one. If you are a proponent of low carb diets, um, I will dive deep into the science why some people are getting good short-term results and what those short-term results really mean on a physiological basis. Okay, we'll talk more about that next Thursday. See you then.